the BFT Digest, your daily source of the latest business news. My name is Kemini Amano. The central bank is seeking to strengthen the city's defenses by deploying a new export monitoring platform to ensure the repatriation of all export receipts into the country. Now, exporters are expected to connect to this platform by July 1, 2016. The city depreciated by close to 18% in the first quarter of 2014, if you remember, and it forced the central bank to introduce a raft of forex measures which were later rescinded as severe criticism from the public. The team working in Ghana's Commodities Exchange, the first in West Africa, is confident trading on the exchange will commence in the first quarter of next year, that is 2017, and it will start with maize, rice and soybeans. Launched by President John Mahama about a year ago, the Ghana Commodities Exchange will serve as a common platform for trading local commodities in a transparent and uniform manner with a view to giving farmers a ready market and improving livelihoods. The Senate Informal Sector Fund, established to provide pension scheme and investment to informal workers, has accrued 75 million cities with a clientele base of 150,000 subscribers. This represents about 200% jump in the fund's growth since 2012 when the private securities firm NTHC acquired it from SNIT. The acting managing director of NTHC, Francis Ampaka, told the BNFT that informal sector workers are lagging behind in terms of pension schemes and investment for which reason the fund was set up by SNIT to bring on board the latter in order to secure their future upon retirement. Grab a copy of the BFT newspaper to read details of these stories and more or visit the BFT online. See you next week.